Matthew Stafford speaking to the Detroit Free Press on the way out of town, specifically to Mitch Album. And among other things, Matthew Stafford said that he also had a left elbow injury to go with thumb, rib, and ankle injuries in 2020. The elbow was never disclosed. He started wearing a wrap at some point after the Thanksgiving game, so the elbow was another problem. The guy has always played through anything and everything. He is very physically tough. There was a column over the weekend from Carlos Monterez of the Detroit Free Press that raised and articulated a concern I've had about Stafford. And what Monterez said is, Through 12 years, he's never seen Stafford as one of these quarterbacks who is obsessed with greatness, who is obsessed with winning, who is obsessed with legacy. Just kind of like, hey, I work here. There's not much I can do about it. And, Peter, that's what's been odd to me. You know, would Peyton Manning have tolerated 12 years of crap in Detroit, or would he have either fixed it himself or gotten the hell out of there? Tom Brady, would he have tolerated 12 years of that in Detroit? You fix it yourself or you get the hell out of there. And Stafford has played at a high level, but they've put nothing around him. And look where Russell Wilson is right now, and he's won a Super Bowl for crying out loud, and he's been to another. So I just feel like with Stafford, there is a fair criticism to be made that he's never truly demanded the kind of greatness that we're used to seeing from great quarterbacks. You know, Mike, I... I probably am more on the side with people who say that I think he's going to really play well with the Rams. Um, I mean, we can talk about the importance of uh, how important it is to Sean McVay. I, I don't know that he's going to get a third quarterback, Mike. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm i exaggerating there a little bit, but because, I mean, there's Sean McVay, I think, is an excellent football coach. But they've spent an awful lot of capital right now uh, you know, on the quarterback position. And it's not like they can keep throwing draft picks and money at this problem. But what I'm saying is, and so I believe that Matthew Stafford is a great fit for Sean McVay. And I think it will work. However, I just don't think you can say that, oh my God, he never had any players. He always had bad coaches. He and was Calvin always Johnson. an island there. He had Calvin Johnson when he showed up for the first half of his career, however many years it was. Uh, And then he's always had a good receiving crew, hasn't he? Okay, he hasn't had a great running game. I get that. But, you know, to say that he's had nobody around him is just, it's just wrong. And, And the others get drafted first overall. All right? And you get drafted first overall, and you never win a playoff game, and you never win your division there's only four teams in your division in 12 years you never win the division and so it's statistically impossible all i can say is all i can say is i like this move for the line for the for the rams i really like the move for the rams but you know it's not like matthew stafford comes in riding on a white steed he's got something to prove here well, and, and look, just it's possible that both things are true, that it was partially on Stafford that the team stunk for 12 years and he didn't demand more. And it's also possibly true that Sean McVay is going to say to Matthew Stafford, just do what you did for the last 12 years. We'll take care of the rest. And, you know, he will be united with Aaron Donald, a guy the Lions could have and frankly should have taken instead of Eric Ebert in 2014. They're entering the last year of the Indomitian Sioux contract, the last year of the Nick Fairley, Fairley contract. They only had like one defensive tackle who was under contract beyond that season, and they didn't take Aaron Donald. So there have been flaws in Detroit, and there has been success with the Rams, Peter. But I'm with you. Let's give it a, 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 a wait and see, and maybe the Rams will be better with Stafford. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.